Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig practice session. In this episode, I talk about percussion workflow for hi-hats, snares and other percussion instruments like in that place, but let's get started. So I prepared a little tune in here that sounds like that and you see down here my hi-hat clip. And so on and so forth. So in this high clip you see um, different uh, notes in here and um, you see the different velocities and the spreads in here and what I did I show you from the ground up. So I delete that hi-hat clip, go back to my device view in here and now I double click in the arranger and then I get a one bar clip and this one bar clip I reduce to a quarter note and this quarter note I extend again on the whole four bars. So when I double click now on the height clip, I get this quarter note or quarter view. I um, decrease that a little bit to have my 16, 16th val values here. Then I put that up and oops, and make this a little bit bigger and display the velocities. And now I choose a note where to start. I take uh, this note, 16th note, like that, and this is my loudest note. So, and um, what I want to do is to use for every for every um, velocity or different velocity I'm using, I want to use another note. The hi hat um, doesn't change in pitch, so I can use it with hi hats. So this is my loudest note with the highest velocity. Then I have a, um, a note with a lower volume in here, maybe like this. And then I have two more like this, and these are even lower in velocity. So this, the note reflecting the velocity in here. So now I have on this four bar loop, because I looped that quarter note all the time. I have uh, this I played in solo. This is quite boring so I extend this with um, right clicking on here and selecting double content. So now watch here the loops. So it gets doubled so I have less loops and twice my um quarter quarter note loop so so i choose not to use like every quarter the loudest note and maybe just use this one and because i put the different velocities on different notes i just can take one over here from here and just duplicate it and you see it in the velocities so these are all the same notes and the advantage of using them, those notes and uh, or those uh, hi-hats on different notes is I just can click on here on the note and select all notes in that velocity. You see? I don't have to just select these and these and these and rearrange it. I just have it on one click if I want to. And that's it. So this is now my loop. Sounds nice. Now we need some more variation because it's always a half note variation. Right click on the clip, double content. Now I have a full bar. This full bar I choose not to use another loud note. I just use a very quiet note. So I have one loud note, then two quieter notes, and then the quiet note and a quieter note. And this is, for example, my full bar. This sounds like that. OK. 
okay and now I do the same trick again just click on here right click then double content now I have a two bar loop double click on it and now I decide to put this one here and to delete uh, those two and now I have uh, this loop Okay, and I do the trick once more, double content. Now I have a four bar loop of hi hats. And at the end, I just do maybe a roll with this, but go to 32s and do like four of them. And now I have this one, maybe together with the melody. Maybe I can just delete those two. Maybe use this one. I like this more. So that's my four bar loop and um, because I just use them on different notes, I still can select them with one click, all different velocities, for example. And with this starting from a quarter note or maybe you start from a half note or what else, you just can develop like uh, little different uh, variations of your Hyatt uh, rhythm and um, yeah, create four bar loops, eight bar loops, 16 bar loops, 32 bar loops or whatever. And this is a very quick way to, de de uh, to develop um, such hi-hat loops or snare loops, for example. So now this sounds very robotic and um, on if I select everything with control A, clicking in the piano roll here, control A, you see in the inspector over here the velocity. And there you see there's a, a medium value of 53.9%. Uh, so everything is here like medium um, 53. So if I click on the right arrow here, the histogram opens and I see the same distribution like you see here. You have not so many um, high velocity nodes, then there are some more um, not so high velocity nodes and some low velocity nodes. And to change this robotic rhythm a little bit, to bring in some humanizing, you can use chaos in here. And if I that up you see on the histogram itself that it's changed a little bit and you see on the velocity window down there that it changes as well so you can just um, use it and change it a little bit here so it's not that steady and i could leave it like that and now my music sounds like that <music> Instead of that here. So now you have a um, maybe like a more humanized um, Hyatt clip. But every time you duplicate or loop this clip, it is, it is always the same. And maybe you want some more variation so that you don't get the feeling of it's too um, robotic. If you feel like that, if you're okay with that, that's fine. But if you feel you want to have some more things on here, I click again on the piano roll, control A to select everything. And now 
on the left side in the inspector there's as well the velocity spread and you can use that velocity spread to give your nodes some more spread and now every node gets the same spread and every start of the clip the rolls uh, the dice are rolled uh, newly and there there will be new values but for every single node the same so if you don't want to have that you can just pull that down and open the histogram with the arrow and use the chaos to just use different spreads on each node. So if I use that now and play this, every start of the Hyatt clip, the values are changed a little bit for every node. So you get all the variations in there if you want to have this. Um, little um, variations to have it more humanized feeling in it. So that's all the tips I want to show you. The three tips like leveling the um, no, leveling the Hyatt's in nodes so you can select them very quickly, the different values. Then changing the um, value spread in here with the histogram and the chaos for example or you can use like the mean or scale or something just to give them a little bit um, different velocities and at least the velocity spread where you give all nodes different velocities if you select everything if you just select one um, layer maybe let's call it like velocity layer you can surely uh, change the velocity spread here as well like no velocity or I don't know so these are all the same the same they are not they are not changing you could just use it on those to change them or press ctrl a to change them all maybe take it all away uh, sorry take it all away or put it all in or put it on individual spreads and something I oh, said, no, no, I, I like the robotic way. So you could try to put it back for this, for example, like here, and put it back on one level, for example, like this. Maybe you want to do that for those as well there, like this one. So you use the scale, put it on here, maybe like that. So now you have, have it back again, just with the different layers and the velocity spread as well. So that's all I wanted to show you. Maybe um, you like it like that. Um, um, or you have another idea, or like maybe a better idea or another idea to just um, make it more humanized or make it uh, more random, for example. So um, tell me, write it in the comments. Comments are always very helpful for me. Just I want to know, I'm curious, and it helps me for the channel as well. So I hope you liked it, and I hope to see it in the next video again. So stay healthy. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.